How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. So as you can tell, we're out for another little uh, overnight winter camping adventure here. So we just got absolutely hammered with a snowstorm here in central Newfoundland and uh, we must have two feet or more of fresh snow down on the ground. Yeah, I'm sinking up past my knees in places in this fresh powder. So I got a sled load of gear. I got the two dogs, Goose and Millie, and uh, we're just gonna continue on in this trail. So I just got my little uh, two-man summer tent. So we're gonna kind of be roughing it tonight. Uh, don't have the hot tent and the wood stove and all that gear because I knew it was just gonna be too hard conditions to be uh, pulling all that weight through the fresh snow. So yeah, we went lightweight, and uh, we're gonna find a nice cozy little spot here somewhere to set up a camp in this snow. It's absolutely beautiful out here with all this fresh snow down. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, we'll continue on in the trail and look for a spot to set up our camp. Our snowshoes are doing a good job so far. Every now and then when we get one in one of these drifts like it's coming up here, I sink down past my knees, almost up to my waist. But for the most part, it's not too bad. Once we get off the trail, I expect the snow to be even deeper in the woods, so we'll see how it goes. You see Millie sinking down there. Dogs are going to be tired tonight, as will I. Whew. All right, well, we're just stopped for a little break now, so I just checked my watch. It's about an hour and a half since we uh, since we left the woods road and turned off onto the snowmobile trail. So I've just been following this old trail. Just been taking my time because uh, I'm trying not to sweat too much. It's impossible not to sweat at all when you're walking through this deep snow and hauling a load of gear. But uh, I'm trying to minimize uh, the amount that I'm sweating because, like I mentioned earlier, we don't have the hot tent or the wood stove or, or any of that to uh, dry out our gear and warm up later. So. We're going to be sleeping out in uh, in the cold. It's supposed to get down close to minus 10 degrees Celsius tonight, which is nothing crazy, but it's not going to be warm to say to say the least. So I'm going to try and reduce the amount that I sweat. Hopefully, not get my clothes too wet. So much for staying dry. Okay, so the first good spot that I see now, I'm gonna set up because I'm starting to get exhausted. I still got a lot of work left to do to set up camp and cut firewood and stuff. So I'm in this spruce stand. I like camping in, uh, in spruce stands like this because there's usually tons of uh, dead standing firewood around. So this looks like a pretty good spot. Just gonna walk around a little bit, try to find uh, the best spot to set up the tent. So one of the advantages to winter camping is you can pitch a tent pretty much anywhere. So I just flattened out this, this area with my snowshoes, just compacted the snow down a little bit. And uh, now I'll use my little collapsible shovel here and uh, I'll just make it level as I can. So I'll just shovel some of the snow in this high spot over here. Level off a nice spot and uh, I'll be able to set the tent up right here. And I'll dig out a little area off to the side for my uh, fire pit. Goose loves shoveling snow. Oh yeah.
Okay, so just finished setting up the tent. So we got old purple here. So you guys have seen this tent many times if you've been following the channel for a while. So since I'm sleeping out in the cold uh, without the wood stove and stuff, I figured I would just quickly show uh, what I have here for sleeping gear. So it's pretty much, it's very similar to what I bring on all of my trips actually, but I'll go over it anyways. Um, so I have two inflatable air mattresses, which I already have inflated. So I'll sleep on one and the dogs will share the other one, hopefully. Uh, then I bring a wool blanket, so I'll put that down underneath of all of us. I think it's big enough to cover over both of the uh, both of the air mattresses. So I'll put that down and under us. Millie, get out of there. You're tracking snow in the tent by. And yeah, here are my sleeping bags. So this is like my go-to sleeping bag that I take on almost all of my camping trips, except for uh, like if it's in the middle of summer, I do have a lighter one that's not as warm as this one that I use in the summer. But yeah, this is um, rated to zero degrees Fahrenheit, which I believe is minus 18 degrees Celsius. Now, as far as I understand, that's the comfort rating, or sorry, that's the survival rating and not the comfort rating. So zero, minus 18 degrees Celsius, you're not going to be comfortable if it's that cold in this sleeping bag but you will survive. That's the idea of this rating. So it's gonna get down, like I said, to minus 10 uh, degrees Celsius tonight. So this will be a good opportunity to test out the sleeping bag. See uh, if I can stay nice and warm at minus 10. And then I also brought this big, massive guy right here. It's the same brand name as, uh, as my other one that I just showed. I don't use this one often just because it's so big. I mean, it's massive. So I can only really use it when I have uh, my sled with me. Uh, this would take up almost all of my backpack. So this is a big old sleeping bag and it's also rated for uh, zero Fahrenheit or minus 18 degrees Celsius. So I'll put this one, like I'll unzip it and I'll just put it over probably myself and the dogs and just cover us all over with that. I'll be down inside of my other sleeping bag, which is a mummy bag. This one is just a big, like, square, regular sleeping bag that's big enough to cover all of us over. So, that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Using my Agawa Boreal 24 folding saw. Great unit. Cuts really good. Here goes the dog stealing the firewood again. So I just split down some of my firewood into small pieces to help expose the dry part of the wood. So I got some splits made and I'm going to mount the camera on my head now. I'll take you guys for a walk down through this winter wonderland here. Everything is absolutely plastered in snow as you can see. But I'm going to take a walk down through here and we'll just see what we can find uh, if anything to help us try and get the fire started. So there's tons of uh, tons of this old man's beard around, but a lot of it is just covered in uh, covered in snow, as you can see here. So when you come around to this side of the tree, as you can see, it's a little bit drier. It's still not ideal, but we're going to have to uh, make do with some of this, and maybe able to uh, dry it out a little bit. 
I'll take a little bit of this old man's beard. Here's some here on the bottom of this bottom side of this tree. That's pretty good. All right, here's a birch tree over here. They're few and far between in this spot, but managed to find one. Millie keeps stepping on my snowshoes and uh, tripping me up. She's right on my heels at all times. All right, let's try and uh, peel some of this dead bark off the dry side of the tree. Oh, some good stuff up high, but I can't reach it. Ugh. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just get some, some dead limbs off a fallen spruce tree. So I'll take these from the bottom side of this fallen tree here. They're still covered in some snow, but not as bad as some of the ones on top of the trees. So grab some of these and I should do. I think we'll, uh, I think we'll manage to get the fire going with this. Some more here. All right, let's make our way back to camp and get that fire going. Okay, let's try our luck with the ferro rod. It's going to be tough because everything's wet, like I said, but we'll give it a shot anyways. Try again. All right, I think we're in business. I'm just gonna keep these sticks up a little bit just to let the air circulate underneath. I don't wanna smother it, but we're looking good here. The fire's finally starting to uh, take off here. So it took a good 15 minutes or so for it to really start to uh, catch good. So it's throwing off some good heat here now. Everything was just so wet. Real slow getting going here, but yeah, I'll be able to uh, draw my gloves a little bit, draw my pants off. My pants are pretty damp now from trekking through the snow. So I'm just gonna sit back and relax for a bit. I've been going pretty steady since we left this morning. And uh, it's about four o'clock, I think. So, yeah, I'm just gonna sit back by the fire, probably boil the kettle, have a coffee or something, try and dry myself off a little bit, warm up a little bit, and just relax. And uh, I still need to cut some more firewood, so we'll do that here in a bit.
starting to get hungry, so I brought some smoked codfish. So I'm gonna put this on, just warm it up a little bit over the fire here on this uh, little stick that I cut, just for a little snack. So I brought moose, some moose, onions, and potatoes. I'm gonna cook that up in the frying pan here now in a little bit, but still kind of early, so just gonna have a little snack here now. What do you want? Now, let's see if I can put this on here without losing it in the fire. Hopefully that'll stay there. Just needs to be warmed up a little bit. Whew, smoky. All right, I'd say this fish is warm through now. I'm gonna eat it anyways because I am starving. Oh, that's good. Millie, back up. I'll give you a piece of minute. So it was smoked cod that uh, somebody gave to my wife at work. I'm not sure who it was, but whoever it was, they did a, a really good job on it. Oh man, really good. Really, back off. Sit. So the dogs didn't eat their supper yet. Not that that will make any difference. They would still be uh, still be bumming around trying to get a piece of this fish, even if they just eat. Sit, Millie. Sit. Okay, time to get some food cooking. So I'm gonna try and get this done before it gets dark. It's after five o'clock now, so I probably got less than an hour and it'll be uh, pretty much pitch dark. So I got a potato, a half an onion, a red onion. So I'm gonna get that going first. Potatoes are probably gonna take the longest to cook out of everything. So I'll let the potatoes and onion cook a little bit and then I'll cut up my mousse and throw that in. A little bit of oil in the pan. So I should have sliced up the moose meat at home, but I forgot to take it out of the freezer until this morning. It was still frozen when I left to come out here. So I'm gonna have to make do on this uh, makeshift cutting board here. Not ideal, but it'll work. So this is meat from a calf, calf moose that my wife, I can't remember if my wife or my father got, um, I guess it was not last season, but the one before. Nice little chunk of meat here, so should be good. Looks like a good tender, uh, tender piece too.
This is starting to smell really good here. This is gonna be deadly. Big old feed of moose, onions, and potatoes. What do you think, Millie? You want a piece? Huh? I'll see if I can get you a piece. You see a pie? Pie. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Yeah, I'll get you a piece. Don't you worry. Oh! <laughs> Well, didn't expect to sink down that much when I sat there. Anyways, this is done, and this is going to be so good. I cannot wait to eat it. I got to let it cool off for a minute. I got to keep a close eye on it because if I turn my back for a second, Millie will have her face right down in that pan. Well, this is really hitting the spot right now. After a long cold day out here, a nice hot meal. It should warm me up. Anyways, guys, I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me eat. So I'm going to finish this off. I'm going to check back here in a little bit. Well, it's an absolutely beautiful evening out here now. It's pitch dark, the wind dropped out. So I'm just sitting by the fire trying to uh, dry out my pants and my boots a little bit before I uh, get into the tent. The fire is rocking here now. It's going better than it has been all day. So whenever you light a fire on the snow like this, it takes a few hours for it to uh, kind of burn down through and then melt all the snow around it. So now that it's done that, we got a, a really good hot bed of coals down on the ground. I can see the moss all around here now, so all the snow is melted. And yeah, these coals are just throwing off a ton of heat. You can see the steam coming off of my boots and my gloves and stuff. So it is toasty warm right now by this fire. So I'm going to sit here for an hour at least, maybe more, maybe a couple hours. And uh, then I'll be climbing in the tent calling it a night. So Millie is in the tent having a nap. Goose is just laying down over here off to the side. We had just a beautiful night now, man. Glad I came out. So thanks for following along on the video. Uh, channel just passed 3,000 subscribers here in the last couple of weeks. So that's great. It's nice to, uh, nice to see some growth on the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. It all helps. Helps the channel grow. Yeah, glad I came out today. It's a beautiful evening now. Yeah, like I said, we'll soon soon call the day. Hopefully get a good sleep and uh, see what tomorrow brings. Good morning. Well, it's a cold one. Or it's just after daylight, so the dogs are out going around. Yeah, I had to get out of the sleeping bag for a minute, and it is freezing out there. So I'm not looking forward to getting up and getting dressed here. My boots are frozen solid. Yeah, it's going to be cold getting up and uh, getting the fire going, but yeah, it was a good night overall. I got to say, stayed pretty warm for most of the night. It was a little bit chilly. 
last hour or two before I woke up was a little bit chilly. I, I remember waking up a few times and having a little bit of a chill, but other than that, I slept, slept really good. So it's 7 o'clock here now. I'm usually up long before this even at home so slept in had a good sleep and uh, yeah I gotta get up the nerve now to get out of the sleeping bag and uh, get dressed get my uh, try to get my boots on that's not gonna be easy but I get that fire going and uh, warm up a little bit Millie get the fire going would ya Do something useful for once. I know. Oh boy, it's cold. So I didn't realize how cold it actually is until I, uh, I actually got out of the sleeping bag and got up. But yeah, my hands are froze, they're numb. I can't even feel my fingers. So I got my big mitts on, but I couldn't get my boots on. They're frozen solid, so I had to throw down my uh, my sleeping bag here and kind of crawl over to the fire pit. Uh, I always try and get some kindling ready the night before for the next morning's fire, so I'm glad I done that because without my boots on, I would have been screwed. I wouldn't have been able to get the fire going. So yeah, I managed to crawl over here and uh, light the fire. Couldn't film it because I couldn't even feel my fingers. But yeah, we got the fire going now. My boots are. Uh, Starting to thaw out, hopefully. So hopefully I'll soon be able to get those on. to melt snow for my uh, for water for coffee this morning so I brought a liter and a half of water with me yesterday but I used it all up so start melting some snow here to get some coffee going Looking forward to this coffee here this morning, I'll tell you that. Water's boiling. Oh, that's good. That's hitting the spot this morning for sure. At least strong coffee. Here, Goose, get it. Here. <laughs> Millie's gone back to bed in the tent. So I'm hoping to get out for some more nights in my canvas tent here soon. Uh, every year, well, the last two years in a row, I did uh, a fishing trip where I go into uh, a couple of ponds and uh, set up for a few days. So I'm, I'm hoping to do that trip again this year. This will be the third year in a row if I can if I can get it done. But uh, we need to wait for the conditions to be a little bit better with the snow because it's quite a quite a ways. It's several kilometers. I got to haul the gear in and. Uh, we need the right conditions to be able to do it. I just wouldn't be able to do it now with the soft, deep snow like this. It'd be too hard to get in there, so I'm going to keep an eye on the snow conditions and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a chance to, uh, to get in there and do some ice fishing, spend a few nights out in the canvas tent. Well, this cold weather is wreaking havoc on my camera batteries, so I'm on my last battery right now. I charged up some batteries last night while I was in the tent, but uh, I just chewed through them this morning in no time with this cold, cold temperature. So I think I'm going to pack the camera away here, call it a video. So like I said, I'm just going to be packing up here soon and heading back out the trail. 
So thanks a lot for following along, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, you guys can uh, help support the channel. It's much appreciated. So until next time, hope everyone's doing well. And uh, stay tuned to the channel for some new videos coming soon. Hope you guys are doing well, and we'll see you on the next one.